Okay, just a quick video on how to remove and reinstall any broken base clips that hold the lower windscreen moulding in place. Um, this vehicle is a 2002 uh, Mini Cooper S. Um, standard Cooper is probably most likely fairly similar. You can see here there's a broken clip on the left. And as you can see, um, this is how it should look with the two tabs on the back of it. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's got a round pin in the center of it. So that needs to be pushed up from the bottom um, and removed. And then you can um, remove the main part of the clip. Okay, so here's a new clip. Um, and here is the round pin that um, inserts down through the top. Once you get the uh, base clip in the correct position, you insert that down through the top and that holds it in place, um, expanding those two um, parts there that you can see. Okay, now to access this clip here, I need to remove this um, black grill here. So basically you just push the front edge of it towards the rear of the vehicle and lift up, and that should um, lift the front of it up. And then once you get that up, basically just slide it towards yourself and then it just comes straight out, it's fairly straightforward. And so here you can see the tabs on the back um, that go towards the rear of the car and then the ones on the front that hold the front in place. Okay, so I'm using a right angled seal pick here just to um, press the pin up from the bottom. Um, it can be quite fiddly to locate it in the right position but um, as you can see, this one was uh, fairly easy. Um, so now that it's come up enough for you to grab hold of, um, I just grabbed a pair of needle nose pr um, pliers or rat nose pliers and um, lift it up as much as you can. And you probably find that with the windscreen in place, you won't be able to get it all the way. So just bend it on an angle and it should come out and then that enables you to get the clip out um, basically you just need to um, press the two um, prongs together at the bottom which I'll show you in a minute once I get it out okay so I basically found that with the windscreen in place it's not really possible to get the clip out all of the way um, so I've just had to break it in half and remove it that way Okay, here's a new clip and here's the two prongs I referred to earlier that you need to press together to enable the clip to come out. And looking at the new pin, you'll notice that one end is hollow on one, one end, the other end is solid. Um, so the solid end goes to the bottom. That enables you to um, push it out if you need to remove it in the future. Okay, so I've discovered that um, these clips don't really um, go into place with the windscreen installed. So um, you really need to have the windscreen out to reinstall these new clips. Basically, you just want to um, orientate them the same way as the existing ones and then push the little um, round pin through the center and lock it into place. And finally, you want to reinsert this um, black plastic grill so there's three tabs on the back so you insert them in and then just push push the front in towards the rear of the vehicle and push it down it's fairly straightforward